Welcome back to Saturday Crafter Dunes at Assemble. Assemble is a space for arts and technology located in Garfield, which is in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I'm your host, Samir, and I'm really excited uh, to invite our guest for today. He lives only a block from Assemble. His name is Chris. Come on out, Chris. Woo! <laughs> How are you doing, Chris? I'm doing all right. Doing pretty good this morning. Thanks for coming out and sharing some of your wonderful artistic things with us today. Um, is it okay if I ask you a couple silly questions? Sure, absolutely. What do you got for me? All right, my first one. This has like been eating up at me all day. I really can't answer it myself. Um, is cereal soup? Oh, that's a good one. That's like, is a hot dog a sandwich? That's, uh, don't, I don't even get started with that question. <laughs> cereal soup? Um, like, normally, no, cereal is not a soup, but not all cereal is just cereal and milk. Some cereal is like fruits and oats and some other stuff, and then that borders on like, all right, you're kind of getting soupy with it, but... Maybe like gourmet cereal could be soup, but no, most cereal, no, definitely not a soup. Oh, gourmet cereal. I haven't even... Yeah. <laughs> Homemade. And that thing. I'm going to try that out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I have an, another question. Um, so, is there anything that's invisible that you wish we could see? Oh, man. You know how in like comic books, like the character will be talking and then you'll have these speech bubbles and it's like everybody can see your speech bubble because you talk and either people can hear it or they can see your mouth moving. Well, wouldn't it be cool if we could all like have our own thought bubbles that we could like <laughs> share with each other? I love that. Actually, I, uh, I like that. It's my thought bubble. It's actually perfect. Cool. Yeah, isn't basically the internet our thought bubble? If only we could like see it above our heads. That'd be kind of cool. It would be really funny. Yeah, if this was just covering <laughs> all the time. Plus one. <laughs> yeah. Alright, well, let's go check out what Chris has in store for us today. Let's, let's go take a look. Um, good morning, my name is Chris. Here at Assemble to bring you a little exercise use of breath and imagination with some text painting. Um, I like to start off most of my days before I embark on a creative endeavor or practice music by breathing. Um, a lot of breathing and stretching is pretty great. Um, I like to use intervals of four and eight when I breathe in and out. Um, I don't always use a metronome, but these things can be very helpful to sort of keep time. Um, they're like my bestest friends in the world. And this is a little mechanical uh, metronome at 80 beats per minute. I'll just do a little uh, sample exercise using my hand to demonstrate in and out because I have a mask on and you can't see my mouth. Here we go. In. breathing exercises I like to do different things like either increase the tempo or uh, decrease the tempo or increase the length that I inhale for or decrease the length that I exhale for um, in this case I'll do something like decrease the tempo to 52 and do one more inhale outhale this time in for eight this time in for eight out for four.
one more time. Music exercises are a great way to begin singing or using your voice because it expands your lungs and it allows the full range of the air capacity that you have in your body. It also uh, puts you in a nice spirited mood, kind of nice and playful. So we're going to try some simple breathing exercises, something that um, I know can help some people imagine the breath It's tracing the fingers. One, two, three. Four, one, two, three, four. You try it in and then out. One more time. This time, I'm gonna try it in for eight. So, in, out, in, out. I'm gonna try it now. One more time. <sighs> One more uh, breathing thing that I think could be really cool is breathing in for four and then making up any word, improvising a word beginning with every letter of the alphabet. So, N for four, apple. N for four, boat. N for four, cat. I'm going to try with a few letters just to show you how you can play with breath and improvise and just make up words on the spot, which is Something that's really fun for the imagination. Um, you can take as much time as you need. You can slow things down. Or you can speed things up if you want to. Sort of like, I spy would catch a word. All right, let's try it. Apology. Bandit. Cat. Donut. Eclipse. And so on and so forth. You can go all the way down to Z. And then if you're really daring or want a challenge, you can go backward from Z to the alphabet and see how many words you can come up with on the fly with breath and breaths in between. I find that using little simple games with breathing can help um, just get you into a really good breath naturally without having to think about a ton of things, except what word am I gonna say? I think that could be really cool uh, as a text painting mental exercise. So the next thing I would like to um, move on to is a little bit of uh, imagination play with words. Um, I had a banana today, uh, so I'm thinking about the word banana. Um, and for a second, let's play with that in our imagination. So what is banana? Banana is a fruit. 
Um, it's yellow. It's sweet. Um, it's kind of curved, right? You peel it. It's uh, kind of squishy to the taste. Delicious. Banana. Bananas. Banana. Bananas. Let's do a little bit of uh, a game with the word banana and sort of incorporating it into a little breathing exercise. Um, I propose that we breathe in for four and then on the exhale, say banana as long as you could possibly say banana with your whole voice. Um, I'll demonstrate first and you can do along with me or right after. Banana, 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 banana. I'm out of air. <sighs> wow, I used all my breath on banana. Wow. And I just ate one today. Let's move on to a different word. What about... Hmm. What about a sunflower? It's another yellow thing. It's a flower. It, it's a flower and it probably grows in a field with a lot of green, so there's yellow and green. Has many petals and a nice big center. They face the sun. Sunflower. 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 Well, for this game, for sunflower, let's do a little bit of call and response. I will say sunflower in some kind of way sing sunflower maybe sunflower or say like a robot sunflower sunflower or maybe something different uh, you'll have to see so sunflower Sunflower. Sunflower? Sunflower? Hmm? That last one was kind of asking a question, like, what are you giving me, a sunflower? Um, what about the word, hmm, jackfruit? Have any of you ever seen a jackfruit before? It's a giant fruit with a lot of spikes. And when you cut it open, there are little bulbs and they have seeds. There's a lot of fibrous flesh inside the jackfruit. It's a very hard fruit, actually. It's kind of like a coconut. It's another one of those words that's two words put together. Jackfruit. Hmm. You should really try jackfruit, or look it up on the internet if you've never seen one. They're pretty amazing. Jackfruit. I just want to imagine a jackfruit just in front of me. Just a jackfruit. Not cut in half, but just whole. It can be really big, like this, around, with a lot of spikes. They're kind of brown, green brown. They kind of look like a giant bean, actually, if you can imagine that. Well, let's try one more word, and this time not a fruit and not anything edible. How about, hmm, what about the word Hmm. A branch. A branch. That's a fun word. Branch. 
It's a very percussive word, isn't it? Branch. It's a tree branch. Or family branch. Or branch of an idea. Something that goes out, has other things hanging on to it. If you think about it, your arms are kind of branches too, coming off of your body. Branch. Branch. Well, for this word, I'm going to use a bit of my metronome, and this time I'll set it to 92. I'll do a little bit of rhythmic wordplay using the word branch. It is kind of percussive, isn't it? Percussive just refers to any instrument that can beat or strike off a drum. Branch. 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 Branches. Branch. Branches. Branch. Branches. Branch. Branches. Branch. Branches. Branch. Well, those are just a couple of word uh, imagination exercises where you can take a word and just with yourself and a little bit of time and a little bit of wordplay, a little bit of playfulness on the part of your imagination and the word itself, imagining what the word is, a lot of qualities about it. Maybe you can close your eyes and just see it in your mind. Or maybe you can open your mind and just see the thing that you're talking about up here right in front of you. Who knows? Maybe your imagination is that strong too. Personally, when I was talking about the jackfruit, this is one of my favorite fruits. I think I was actually able to see the giant bean in my hands. Might be time to go to the grocery store. Later that same evening. So imagine you're at the grocery store and the person in front of you is buying goldfish and fruit snacks. And you need to make out with four dozen eggs. But the line is moving too slow. Sometimes in this situation I like to make up songs just to keep myself occupied. Seems that I have a lot of eggs. 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 Goldfish. Eggs. Thanks so much for joining us this week for Saturday Crafternoon. We would love to see what you've created. To do so, please share by posting on our Facebook page, tagging us on Instagram, at assemblepgh, or email me at my email, leah at assemblepgh.org. And if you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.